Defenders who film their crimes for social media with the intention of humiliating their victims will face tougher sentences under new guidelines which are being announced today. Offenders' backgrounds such as unstable upbringing will also be taken into account when deciding punishments. We're joining us now is former offender Charles Young, who now runs Laces, educating youngsters about the prison system. Welcome morning. to you, Charles. Good morning. Hello. Um, you have had uh, 40 convictions, robbery, fraud and no, burglary. No, 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 no. Ah. I don't know where you get robbery from. Well, uh, on the brief, but oh, do no. put me right. No. So tell us about your convictions, because you were convicted at quite a young age, is that right? Twelve. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you started young. Um, yes. And what did those convictions cover? Fraud, deception, burglary, TDA or twocking, taking and driving away. Mm. Um, some drug offences, but nothing heavy. You know, not, not Class A, but I was involved in the drug side and the um, alcohol side of things. Mm. Um, what do you think is the best way to keep youngsters from entering? Well, I certainly behavior. remember. I certainly remember uh, this guy coming on TV and going, "You know, education, education, education. Education has gone way out the window as far as these kids are concerned." So it's all about being in schools, something that you do, don't you? You go into go schools to, school. we to put, try we and put a prison cell on the stage, mm -hmm. we put the kids in prison clothes, and I kick the verbal out of them. I, you know, I kick the... You don't, not out. physically. <laughs> well, I actually, I offer them out for a fight. I do offer them out for a fight, but it's, it's a, an educated um, example. They look at you as if you're this old person and mm. you know they can come up and they can bash you and they can do whatever mm. and I asked them in front of them you know look if you think you can beat me in a fight come out in here and we'll have a fight and and they sit and they get nudging their mates oh bruv 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 go on, go on, ask it out there you know well if you are asking him to do it why can't you come out and do it but it's not what you think it's actually so you think these kids just don't have an idea of what the consequences of no. their behaviour is? No, and if they had an idea of what it was like to be in secure accommodation, to be behind bars, to be in prison, that would be the best thing to put Well, them on. a lot of them have got the idea already, mm. but because they think it's a badge of honour, because their families, a lot of families and, and relatives are grown up in that uh, environment, they think it's the norm. Mm. But as you said, because of the consequences, the long-term consequences of that, it, it messes your life up. Is there any purpose to uh, putting youngsters behind bars? Well, there are some that obviously deserve to be there, but the majority of them, that they don't, because they, they're confused, you know, they, they, they're mixed up, they're angry, uh, they're lost, and they're looking for help. And mm. they Ex-offenders, what my programme is about is catching them as early as you can, mm. We also want to find mentors, other presenters, so that they can use their criminal convictions as the tools of their trade. But we're saying that we want to work with the system, mm. but we, you're not being allowed to. Right, well, we'll see what the guidelines come up with today. Charles Young, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you us. very much.